Hey everybody, it's Kim from a Scrap, and today I wanted to share this um, album that I put together for my aunt. I used a purchased 8x8 album and tried to cater everything to her likes. You know how that goes. And um, so um, she wanted a little photo album of her youngest son and his family. So that's what I've put together and um, just using different styles and different papers and everything. So I thought it would be cool to share and plus um, maybe give you all some ideas for some simple layouts. So um, I did have to cover the faces on all the pictures so you'll see the sticky notes and everything. But um, I just tried to keep it to the actual picture and um, not, you know, cover up any of the layout design. And hopefully there's not much of a glare. But um, oh, let me see how this does if we turn off this light. Maybe that will be better. So this is um, when you open it up, the first page, and this is the whole family. So that's why I have the sticker here that says Family Portrait. And I believe this was a page kit that I used, and I just cut this um, page, or this paper, at three and a half to offset it a little bit. And um, used a blue texture paper for the border, if you can see it right there. And then this is um, for the two girls. They have three children, two girls and a boy. So this is the two girls. And um, I used another page kit. And as you can see, the um, I just cut a strip of this paper to put along here. And then I uh, used some stickers to put sisters and a couple dimensional um, stickers there. And I actually, I'm going to pull this up a little bit so you can see I, I did some double matting right there to pick up the blue and then use black to offset it against the paper. This is their son and his girlfriend. And I have a terrible time doing guy layouts. So this one is very simple, but as you can see, there's a lot of brick in this picture and then the blue. So that's why I picked these two pages and I picked texture um, paper to give it more interest. And then using those same papers, I've just punched some flowers here and here with a McGill punch and then use some rhinestones and them so it's not too frilly. This was, um, this is the whole family again, or most of the family, and, uh, the oldest is in college, so, um, this was one of her banquets, and I did sorority days, and I used the Alphalicious cartridge, I think at, like, one and a quarter to do the lettering, and then I double matted both the photos and this, um, paper around the larger mat. I made myself with some stamps and um, ink pads from Stampin' Up. And this is their son again and his girlfriend again. And again, Alphalicious and just did stars around. And I don't know if this is picking up, but her dress is actually purple. And when I took a photo earlier of it, uh, um, it looked blue, but it's very purple, deep purple, so that's why I use the purple cardstock. This is a, their daughter went on a parachuting trip, learned how to, or a parachute tandem. So I just did bombs away, and these were like one and three quarters tall. And just real simple, I hand cut the clouds and then used Brocade Blue Stampin' Up! ink to just ink the edges and give it a little interest. 
And then this is the two oldest kids. And again, having a guy in the picture, I you know, kept it kind of neutral. And um, just used some texture cardstock to pick up the blue and the green. <coughs> For the strips, and these strips are a half inch each to make an inch border. And then picked up the red in the matting. And then this is all three of the kids on both pictures. So I did it like a playing card with the diamond, clover, spade, and heart. And I uh, just wrote out three of a kind. And um, the, all these little emblems right here I got from the uh, Andy cartridge. And just cut them at one inch. And this was two of the ch uh, kids, uh, two oldest, in their Halloween costumes. So I uh, just cut out trick or treat and I uh, used some Tim Coffee paper to run strips across. And then fussy cutted some of the pages out because I used all the die cuts I had last year. <laughs> this is his paper from last year. So I just, you know, did a little cutting and embellished it that way. And I did trick, I did all the spooky ones over here because of trick, and all the candy over here because of treat. And then here's a Christmas one. That's their youngest with Santa. And their oldest, just being funny. So, uh, and I used a graphic 45 paper and some texture card sock. And this is a graphic 45 punch out that's in the 12 by 12 paper pad. And that's pretty much it. I left it blank right here because I have some more filler pages. So I'm hoping I can give this to her. And then as time goes on, uh, make some more pages to go into it. So that's the little family album I put together. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you got some little um, layout ideas. And thanks for watching my video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.